Good day and welcome back to another World of Warcraft video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at how you can gear effectively during the World of Warcraft 20th anniversary. Now to cut a long story short, the 20th anniversary is not necessarily the greatest gearing event. A lot of your good gear outside of the raid is going to come from just completing the weeklies. These count like the same level as weekly as you would do in Castle Gar. So your first chest will nature you champion gear and then your subsequent three chests will nature you veteran gear along with obviously the other associated rewards. Some of the events you do have other rewards. For example, Chromies will give you a different goodie bag upon completion. The raid itself gives you obviously raid loot as well. And for example, the time walking one makes you do dungeons. But this is just strictly talking about the rewards that you get from those weekly quests. We'll tackle each event that's you know, interesting to run. Obviously this is fine, there's nothing wrong with this, it's a good way to start in your character. One thing that is cool is you can do these weeklies on a character that's below max level and they will still get the chest but only be able to open it at max level, which means if you're just doing these on like a random alt, you can store those chests and open them up when you do hit the max. Then we have the world bosses, both the Tenaris world bosses and the open world bosses that exist around Azeroth at any given time. All of these bosses, there will be six of them per day, are available to defeat every single day and have a chance to drop veteran gear. It's not necessarily the easiest way to farm gear, although I will admit the ones in Tenaris are pretty easy to farm because obviously there's a lot more people, they're just closer together. But yeah, they do have a chance to drop the gear. Of course, they also have a chance to drop mounts, they count for achievements, etc. So I would suggest still farming them. But I wouldn't say it's an absolute necessity. Especially since the weekly quests already give you a good source of the same level of gear. Time walking dungeons are not something I would recommend for gearing. Uh, firstly, the time walking dungeons for the, like classic event is actually pretty tough secondly as well obviously the rewards you get from doing them are not nearly the same as whether you just ran around spamming all the bosses or did your weekly quests so i wouldn't necessarily suggest doing that time walking is pretty good though for leveling and while you are leveling it does obviously drop some decent gear so it's not like it's not useful it's just not something i'd look to use to farm in game in-game gear you could maybe look at picking some up from there if you want to but it's not a main draw card to the anniversary event for me it's just not something that i can see players having you know like a huge attraction to so yeah that's pretty much it obviously the main thing that we're going to talk about is the raid so the raid is available in three different difficulties you have the Raid Finder, the Normal, and the Heroic. Raid Finder obviously can be you know, accessed through the Dungeon Finder mechanism. You do get a weekly chest uh, from this. It is only veteran track, so it's not a major issue. Now, the gear that drops here is pretty comparable to the gear from War Within. Obviously, it's the same item level as if you did a Normal or Heroic Raid, which I think is very good. But there's two very important things to understand. Firstly, especially from Heroic onwards, uh, some of these pieces of gear have some interesting stat distributions, but also have some set bonuses. So it does make them pretty enticing, especially depending on what class you are. There's some BIS gear here, so getting a Heroic piece of it could be really good for you, especially if you haven't taken on Mythic yet. On top of that as well, Every boss you defeat on whichever difficulty gives you a Time Warped Relic Coffer Key. These are important because you get 3 per boss and you can get up to 120 per difficulty of each raid. Now the keys are tied to raid, but you can use them to purchase gear. And you can specifically purchase whatever gear you want from that raid. So where this is really cool is you can use it to either purchase your BIS pieces, to finish off sets, to finish off just items you're missing. And this makes it so that basically the raid is a great way to pick up very specific pieces. 
So it's not only comparable to the War Within Raid from a difficulty perspective, but when it gives you the ability to select your pieces, it could come in a clutch when you're looking to really optimize your build. Because basically you're going to be able to hand select what pieces you want to round out your character. Of course it will require you to run the raid a couple of times. The event is up until mid-January so it's not impossible. But obviously you do need to find a pre-made group for normal or heroic difficulty. So it isn't necessarily so easy. With that being said, it is definitely a huge draw card to gearing during the course of the War Within and especially the 20th anniversary celebration. So I have no doubt that it's going to be something that's very useful for a lot of players in general uh, and something a lot of players are obviously going to try and look forward to. Now there are a couple other little things. So there's a PvP gear vendor. You can find them and buy stuff with medallions and medals of honor. He doesn't really sell anything too crazy, so you don't need to really go there, but there are some interesting transmogs, so you could go there, but it's not something that's going to help you gear. Uh, it kind of falls out of this progression line. Then, obviously, we take a look at Warband gear. As I mentioned before, Chromie provides a goodie bag upon completion of a Chromie Codex scenario. This bag is guaranteed to give you, on a range, at the very minimum, uh, a Chromie's premium goodie bag which gives you warbound pieces of gear now that warbound piece of gear we know is a lot harder to come by than we thought because it's guaranteed to be warbound it's actually a great way to start stacking up on some alternative gear pieces for your characters who have yet to hit level 80 so it's not necessarily gear progression but there's something for account wide progression but yeah that's pretty much it for me hope this has given you guys a better idea on how to gear up from the anniversary event and wishing you all the best of luck see you next time bye